Thank you for staying with us. For the general superintendent of the Deeper Life Christian Ministry, Pastor W.F. Kumi, it's time for all and sundry to minister to the needs of the people. Speaking in Lagos, Pastor Kumi advised the government to be sensitive to the sufferings of citizens, urging those in authority to be, to be practical in the area of distribution of palliatives. He also waded into the topic of same-sex marriage, insisting that the concept is at variance with the command of Jesus Christ to Christians, which is for a man to get married to a woman. Let's share the story by TVC News' Ivy Kano with you. Top management team of the church welcoming the superintendent to the International Conference Center. It's that time of the year for global crusade with Kumuyi. Addressing newsmen on the crusade with the theme Emmanuel, the clergyman said it's time to seek God's intervention. This time we're expecting something greater than we have ever had. And the theme is Emmanuel. And we believe it's going to be a wonderful time for all participants, both here at the Alpha Location Lagos, in all the in other parts of the world. Actually, we transmit uh, the GCK to more than 200 countries uh, at present. And many people are waiting and uh, they want to see it start uh, on the 21st. Uh, With the expected if, turnout, he reeled out the arrangement for security and crowd right? management. Uh, that is has always been very important for us and uh, we link up with the police we you know we link up with security agents and i want to assure you and assure everyone that there's maximum security protection of life and property he also addressed the economic situation in the country saying more is expected of the government been talking of palliatives and I think that uh, the government should do something practical, something workable, that the people actually feel the effect of the palliatives we are talking about. The church, for example, uh, we should, uh, pastors of churches and leaders should look at members of the church and see whatever the church can do. On the controversy surrounding blessing of same-sex marriage, the preacher advised Christians not to be confused. We carry on the words of Christ that said it's a man and a woman that will be joined together in a marriage until death and do us part. That's where we have always stood, that's where we're still standing. The six day program, which begins Thursday and ends Tuesday, is in collaboration with the Christian Association of Nigeria. Ivy Khan, CBC News, Lagos. Mm. Pastor W.F. Kumui, as constant as any day. As a northern star. As a northern star. I've known him as a small boy. Integrity, personified. Integrity, no scandal, nothing. No. no doesn't brood any You can't tempt him with a woman. No, no, no. You can't tempt him with riches. Mm. These are the people that we grew up to yeah. love. It took a long time before I could know that it's Pastor Kumui. They used to call him Brother Kumui for a long time. Mm. Not, yes, brother Kumi, it was brother Kumi. Not giving to titles, not took a long time. That's a pastor Kumi. WF Kumi, brother WF Kumi. Those wow. days. You two have been around for some time. Because <laughs> 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 even me, I can't remember that I was a brother. You know, brother's calling me brother. He's <laughs> church member. <laughs> you know, mm. the, the church mm. was the fastest growing in Nigeria before. Mm. Before the Redeemed Christian Church of God yeah. overtook it uh, with the planting of churches and all Everywhere. that. After that lucky 98. That lucky 98. encounter. Yes, lucky 98. Uh, that was the turning point because even in my town, back then, we had uh, this deeper life. We had the adherents, you know? So there was hardly any town you get to that you won't see the deeper life. Bible Church. But what Redeem now did was to continue to plant aggressively to the point that the street churches mm. eh, within like 500 meters of mm. one another, street. Mm. you could see up to two or three churches. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, took over. To, uh, mm. eh? 
that's a matter for another day. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us who call ourselves Christians, we are only Christians by mouth. We are not Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Like the real meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people who are preaching same sex now, and they call themselves Christians, is that what Jesus Christ taught them? Because Christ never <laughs> taught uh, us to embrace this kind of uh, uh, behavior. God even destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Part of why God did it was this Sodomy. Mm -hmm. What is Sodomy? Mm -hmm. Because when you go down memory lane, you know what Sodomy means. It is what they are doing. That is actually called Sodomy. So, I see no reason to bless a couple, a man mm. and man, mm. man on man sex. Mm. When, when you bless them, you are indirectly, you are not even indirectly, you are, you are telling them that, look, go, go, ahead. go ahead and continue to do what you are doing. Marriage is something that God designed for man and woman, yes. so that the world can go on. If marriage was for man and man, mm. many of us won't be alive today mm. because you still haven't found a way to make a fellow man pregnant for you. Mm -hmm. And but the silly thing these people do is they cannot by themselves, man and man, procreate. Mm. They will now go and adopt children. Mm. That you now force those children. They cause those children mm. to uh, love the things that they love. I mean, Christianity should be a very direct thing. Believing in certain tenets mm. is not something that you should be ashamed of, or something that you should try to be politically correct about. If it is not good, it is not good. Mm -hmm. Trying to get halfway with, with this kind of people makes absolutely no sense. Don't try to get halfway with them. It, that is the way of the Lord, I mean, of the world. Like the baby, uh, I mean, what, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those of us who are not, we are not ministers. Mm -hmm. We have no plan to become ministers. But now we, know, ministers, we, know, we know we know what is good. Mm. I don't have to go to a school of disciples, SOD, of <laughs> Redeem, uh, Redeem <laughs> or, or the whatever. I don't have to go. God caused Adam to sleep and remove Eve. And Adam will come and say, this is a bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. I shall be called woman because yes. he brought that out of me. It was the, that relationship, mm. marriage. Man, man. It's designed yes. for man, even animals. Mm, animals, yes. Animals do not copulate, copulate mm. with their own uh, gender. Mm -mm. They go and look for women. In fact, uh, dogs in those days, mm. in those days when when we were on, uh, on holiday and we go to um, the village, my dad said I should no longer call it a village, and I don't want his trouble. The dog, the male dog. Can trek, and I'm sure they did to remember. The male dog can trek for three kilometers to find a woman. Yes. Male dog, mm. that's the normal thing. When it is their season, mm. because unlike men, dogs have to be on it. Mm. They don't just do it the way we do it. Ah, you see someone in skirt, you've not even properly seen the face. You 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 you, you like the you want to minister to her. <laughs> <laughs> so if animals, ayo, let me round it okay. up this way. If okay. animals do not make love to their own gender, mm. they go for women, mm. women among animals, trekking mm. for um, hours. Mm. Why should men, mm. men, people who have sanity in place, mm. why should they? I mean, did they? The other part of it is that Pastor Kumi is saying that government should be sensitive this time around. This is Utah season and a lot of people are hungry. The, the times are hard now and the economy is not really smiling. It's not only in Nigeria, it's um, all over the world. and Maybe it's biting harder here. And um, if you remember when um, 
the uh, government um, um, give money to states mm. to for palliatives mm. and um, one um, uh, rice, uh, one eighty thousand trucks of rice. Mm. I can remember it was mm. not. Um, there were, there were uproars around. It was mm. not uh, properly done. Mm. Some states really didn't enjoy how it was shared. And so this time, um, uh, Baba Kumuyi is saying, if it has to be done again, it has to be given to those who are really, really poor. The downtrodden. Those who need wow. it. There are people that can barely feed, mm. barely eat a meal mm. per day. And Baba didn't stop there. He said that ministers now should be sensitive. Mm. Church leaders should be sensitive mm. to the needs of the, their, their members, yes, yes, the, yes. the needy in yeah. the church. It's yeah. not about what you, you know, people are now giving to flaunting of, of wealth oh, and all that and all that. Amazing. Yes. It's not bad for a man of God to ride in um, private jet and to secure themselves. But also it is... Um, it's good to empathize. At this time. At this time. It is good to empathize. It is good to feel the pulse of others and know that whatever you are giving has to go down to those who really need it. You know, we have this culture in this nation that when you are sharing palliatives or you are giving to people, mm. those who have already, mm. already they have like one or two, they still want... Yes, the, the grid. They still want to amass Yes, to keep mm. ten. And there are people who can't even muster one. Mm. So that's what Baba is saying, mm. and that at this time we need to really be sensitive. It is, it is. I was coming when when I was coming today to the to to the station. I I was trying to reverse, and you know I was meters away from someone, and he was already shouting. You, you can see the pain. Oh, God, don't hit me! And you know you can see that it just takes something to strike it. And aggressive already. Yes, yes. Mm. So that's what Baba. I, I saw a clip. Did I saw a clip. One minister, um, Genesis, um, one of the celebrities, church and everything. They asked people to come out, and they asked them if you have twenty thousand, if you have ten thousand, if you have fifty thousand, bring it out. I thought he was he wanted to collect offering normally. Now you know what is the answer. Is. He told them to go home, go and give your neighbor that is a need. Don't give this church. Go home. Go and look for your, anybody around you that is in dear need. I saw that as a so unique. Yes. Uh, At this time around. He didn't say they should go and drop it in the offering box. No, 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 no. no. He, he, he said, go home, go home. Don't drop it here. Genesis Global. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. Our, a lot of our people have so much money, but they can't show mercy. Mm. They can't show mercy. And that's mm. why I said mm. a lot of Christians are not Christ-like. Because Christ mm. enjoyed showing generosity, mm. you know? Mm. If you enjoy showing kindness mm. in different mm. ways. So if you are a Christian, mm. or you call yourself a Christian, because it's not everyone who calls himself a Christian that is actually a Christian. If you, are, you call yourself a Christian, and you can't show generosity to people around you, you can't mm. see people suffering, mm. then you are not a Christian. No. Mm -hmm. Don't stop deceiving yourself. Because mm. on that day, on the, on, uh, God will ask you, mm. These people around you are poor. What did you do to help them? Mm. Yeah. Because even the Bible mm. acknowledges that there will be poor people in our midst. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Uh, but we must show greater kindness. This Flaunting is... wealth. Showing that you have so much you money. Money people. that you amassed from people's uh, offerings, from uh, uh, tithes especially. Mm. That's why sometimes mm. they swear at you if you don't mm. pay tithe. You know, money that you gather, people's that. money. Mm. You now be flaunting it in their faces. They can't even come close to you. Mm. I mean, it's criminal. <laughs> it's criminal. And mm. a lot of church leaders mm. need to look at themselves in the mirror mm. and ask themselves pertinent questions. Mm. All right. Peace is gradually returning to River State as the gladiators 